Hello everyone. Um, we are going to try something new today. Um, you will know that we always have a Bible class and we're going to try to do our own online Bible class today. Um, unfortunately, you can only see me and Morten Johan, MJ, but we hope that you will still join us in praying and singing and everything. So usually we start with asking how everyone is doing and what your name is. So if you don't know us yet, my name is Erna. MJ. MJ. Um, and then we usually, usually we say how old we are. Martin, you are, how old are you? Uh, five. Five, he's almost turning six. And I am... And I'm, I'm, I'm turning... I, we, um, we, think, we think my birthday is going to be in lockdown. In, he's going, maybe going to have a birthday in lockdown. But anyway, so I, I if you can count, my age is 10, 20... 30, 45. I also had my birthday in lockdown, so I'm now 45 years old. So, um, maybe it's now sad that I can't see you, so I can't ask you how old are you and what's your name, but we hope that you enjoy this short time with us. Now, I think we must start off by praying. What do you think, Martin? Johan? Okay, so usually we say, listen, is there something that we can pray for you for? Is there like... Um, someone that you that's sick or maybe you are scared or maybe um, yeah you are thankful so think of one thing that you want to ask God something and one thing that you want to praise God for you want to say thank you to so think of something and then I'm just going to give a short few seconds that you can now pray just where you are and just um just ask the Lord to be with you and then I will also pray for us. So take just a few seconds and then you ask, you can ask God for something and then you also thank Him for something. Okay? Do you want to start? Okay, you must talk nice and loud. Thank you God for such a um, beautiful day. Amen. Amen. So take a few seconds and you also pray for something. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can be together like this. Even though we can't see each other, we know that you are here. You are always with us. And we are so thankful for that. Lord, we want to praise you for just, again, being able to read from your Bible and to, to just learn from you. And Lord, we also want to ask and pray for all the people that's, very, that's sick, that needs your healing. God, you can do anything. Please be with those people. And also please be with us that we will experience your nearness every day in our lives. Amen. Amen. Okay, so let's sing a song. I wonder what song. Um, Jesus loves. Jesus loves me. Can you remember it? So sing along. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Just one more? Yeah. Which one? Um. Mm, let's sing, read your Bible. So now we must get, remember how we do it, get on your knees. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, 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 and you will grow, 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 and you will grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, 
grow, grow. Uh, oh, Martin Yuan is there on the chair. <laughs> he also grew a lot. Okay, so let's go to uh, today's Bible story. Let's just quickly, um, I just want to ask you one thing. Mart- MJ, can you remember what is another word for the Bible? Oh, oh, it's been a long time since we have... No, the Bible is the Word of God. Say it with me. The Bible is the Word of God. So God speaks to us through the Bible. Okay? So now, today, the story we're going to read about... Let's just get there. Is let me just get there. Sorry, ah, there we go. The story about the forgiving prince. <gasps> Do you know? Have you heard about a prince? Uh-uh. Oh, a prince is the king's son, eh? Yeah. Someone that's very important. Uh-huh. Okay, so today we learn about someone that was very important but also forgiving, he yeah. forgave other people. Okay, so let's, um, first of all, you will see if your, if your dad and mom was able to print out um, uh, for you uh, this paper, the activity page, you will see that we've got this um, whole um, list of people. <clears throat> you see there on the top that Abram married Sarah, and then they had a son Isaac, and he married Rebecca. And then they had sons, Esau and Jacob. And Jacob married Rachel and Leah. And today we're going to read more about Jacob's 12 sons. He had 12 wow. sons. Can you count to 12, Mame J? Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 12. Twelve. Oh, so after um, we finish with this Bible class, I want you to uh, ask your mom and dad to help you and turn in your Bibles to Genesis 37. And there you must now fill in those um, 12 names. You will see they short a, a letter or two each name. Okay, so yeah. Jacob had 12 sons. Okay. Jacob so, had. Wow. One of his sons' name was Joseph. Joseph. Okay. And we are going to read from the Jesus Storybook Bible. <gasps> yay, 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 yay. And with permission of HarperCollins Christian Publishing. They were so nice to say, we can use this Bible even in our online Bible class. So let's start. You can, f- oh, look at Joseph's pretty coat. Do you see him, MJ? Yeah. Yeah, Jacob had 12 sons, but all of his sons, Joseph, was his favorite. One day, Jacob gave Joseph a splendid new robe. It was beautiful and rich with all the colors of the rainbow, but it made Joseph's brothers jealous. They wanted rich rainbow robes too. Then, to make matters worse, Joseph kept on having these special dreams. I dreamed I was the greatest. I was king, Joseph told his brothers. And you all bowed down to me. Now, I'm sure you know, even if Joseph didn't, that telling your brothers things like that isn't a very good idea. Joseph's brothers hated hated him even more. They wanted to kill Joseph and his dreams. And one day, that's exactly what they tried to do. They tore Joseph's rainbow robe off him and sold him to slave traders for 20 pieces of silver. The traders took Joseph to Egypt and made him into a slave. Do you know what's a slave? It's someone that has to work very hard. You are not free and you don't get paid. You just have to work for someone the whole time. So the brothers went home and lied to their father, telling him that Joseph was dead. That's the end of that dreamer, they thought. But they were wrong. 
God had a magnificent dream for Joseph's life. And even when it looked like everything had gone wrong, God would use it all to help make the dream come true. God would use everything that was happening to Joseph to do something good. Meanwhile, though, things were not looking good for Joseph in Egypt. He was far from home and from his dad. Then he got blamed for something he didn't do. And even though he had done nothing wrong, he was punished and thrown in jail. But God had not left Joseph. One night, Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had a scary dream about thin cows gobbling up fat cows. What on earth did it mean? He didn't know. But Joseph was a dream expert, so Pharaoh sent for him. It means a famine is coming, Joseph explained. There won't be enough food. Pharaoh was so pleased by Joseph's skill that he immediately took Joseph out of jail and made him a prince. Now back home, Joseph's brothers had run out of food and everyone was hungry. God's special family was in danger. If they didn't get food soon, they would starve to death. So Joseph's brothers traveled to Egypt to buy food. They came and knelt before the new prince. His brothers didn't know that the prince was Joseph. But Joseph knew who they were. Joseph's dream, the one about his brothers bowing down to him, was coming true. It's me, Joseph cried. When they saw it was Joseph, his brothers were afraid. That wronged Joseph. That sinned and they knew it. Now Joseph would certainly punish them. But Joseph looked at his brothers and his eyes filled with tears. Even though his brothers had hurt him and hated him and wanted him dead, in spite of everything, he couldn't stop loving them. His heart, which they had broken, filled up with love and Joseph forgave them. Joseph threw his arms around them. Don't be afraid, he said. Behind what you were doing, underneath everything that was happening, God was doing something good. God was making everything right again. Joseph didn't punish them. He rescued them. He brought God's special family to live safely with him in Egypt. One day, God would send another prince. A young prince whose heart would break. Like Joseph... He would leave his home and his father. His brothers would hate him and want him dead. He would be sold for pieces of silver. He would be punished even though he had done nothing wrong. Do you know where that prince is? Jesus, no. But God would use everything that happened to this young prince, to Jesus, even the bad things, to do something good, to forgive the sins of the whole world. Yeah, that is a nice story. Now, like you can see the next picture that's on the screen is also if your mom and dad can print for you your activity page, there is a Joseph's coat. And do you see all the little numbers? So all the little number ones you must color in yellow, the number twos you must color in red, the number three, orange, four, green, five, pink, six, purple, seven, blue, eight, gray, and nine, bronze. Okay, will you be able to do that? Okay, let me just um, get back to our slide. There we go, back. And um, we hope you enjoyed the story. Did you enjoy the story, uh, Martin, Yuan? Okay, great. Very good. <laughs> Okay, I want you to just once more pray for us and then I'm going to say goodbye and you must please um, then color in that picture of Joseph's pretty coat and, and remember that last part was very important there that who, who, who did we say who would once also come to earth, be a prince? Um, um, Jesus. No, Jesus also and he was also, he, was, he didn't do anything wrong. And still, he was a slave. He, he, they, and they, they crucified him. They, they, he died on the cross. But what happened after he died on the cross? They buried him. He was buried, and then 
He stand up. He was raised, ne? Yeah. So he became he came alive. Okay? Yeah. And we know that Jesus is alive. He's he and he um died for our sins. Yes. Okay. I'm going to pray once more and then you can go and color in Joseph's pretty coat. Yay! Yeah. Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you love us and you are with us every day of our lives, every minute, every second. And Jesus, we ask that even in the times when we may be afraid or we don't, we are uncertain, we don't know how things are going to work out, that we will know that you are with us. Thank you for your love. Thank you that you died for our sins on the cross. And Lord, thank you that as we've seen in Joseph's life, you are in control. Lord, you know what's going to happen next. And even if we don't understand why things are happening, you know and you have a plan. We praise your name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay, great, guys. We hope to see you soon. Amen, 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 amen. <laughs> But for now, we hope this worked. You, you can uh, tell your mom to let us know how it worked for you, if it was if you enjoyed it or what can we do differently. And then, um, yeah, please send me a picture of that Joseph's coat that you colored in. Okay, so remember oh. you must, how many sons did Jacob have? Can you remember? Twelve. Twelve. So you must go write in the twelve names of Jacob's uh, sons and then you must color in the picture of the Joseph's coat and please send, send me a photo of the picture of this color in. And, and ask your mom if you, if you don't, if, if they don't know, you have to color a picture in. Ask your mom to print it now. Yeah. And otherwise, we'll hopefully I can get some pictures to your mom in the in the following days so if you don't have a printer okay bye see you have a nice day no oh, where